You see, these girls that go over there are the, are the Matsubashi girls. They just cross over there on the way to the theater from those cells over there, those dormitories. Come on, the goods are on display. Well, wait for me, buddy. In James Michener's best-selling novel, Sayonara, his major Gruber was smitten by a Japanese stage star known chiefly for playing male roles. The girls undergo a rigorous course of studies at the Taka Razuka School of Music near Osaka. But there's a catch. For the two years they remain there, they must be cloistered. No contact with men is permitted. Not going over there and say hello. What, in public? A Matsubashi girl? Are you nuts? Well, you can take it, take it off this club. Well, that's for Americans. If after two years they successfully complete their training, the girls may become professional performers. Some graduates of the school become stars in their own right, and enjoy the fame and adulation of adoring fans. Mostly women. What, what's all, what's going on in now? Anogi's coming. Who? Hanaogi, she's the top, number one. They may even rise to stardom worthy of any Broadway star. Well, how come she dressed like that? Well, the uh, tall ones play men's parts mostly. They play women's parts too. How do you do? The character of Hana Ogisan was based on the iconic Taka Rasuka showgirls. Some may advance to the famed Taka Rasuka Theater in Tokyo. The lavish productions and their all-girl cast in both Taka Rasuka and Tokyo have been playing to sell out performances for decades, and have come a must-see among foreign visitors and Japanese alike. The Taka Rasuka School of Music and Grand Theater was the brainchild of Japanese industrialist Ichizo Kobayashi, who sought to promote rail travel and tourism on his Osaka-based Hankyu Railway. The first performance was in 1914. Americans soon discovered the unique all-female shows during the occupation and the Korean War. The Taka Rasuka Review first gained Hollywood's attention in a forgettable thriller called Tokyo File 212. The Taka Rasuka stage lights dimmed during World War II, but made a successful comeback during the American occupation. The Tokyo Theater was renamed the Ernie Pyle Theater in 1945. The legendary war correspondent was killed by enemy fire toward war's end. Follow orders. All right, get to your barracks. Hey, what about passes? Yeah, what about some yeah. passes? Well, if you're not on immediate shipment, you get passes into Tokyo. All right. You lucky stiffs. Pull out! Located across the street from the old Imperial Hotel, the Ernie Pyle Theater became the main venue in Tokyo for entertainment from home, courtesy of Army Special Services.
The theater featured performers like Betty Grable, Funny Man and star Danny Kaye, big band leaders Count Basie, Les Brown and scores of others. The Taka Raska Review found new fans among GIs as it returned to the stage with extravagant Broadway-style shows. After the American occupation of Japan ended in 1952, the Ernie Pyle Theater was returned and again named Tokyo Taka Raska and underwent extensive renovation. Here's a glimpse inside the fabled theater. The original theater was built in 1934. It had 1,229 seats on the first level, including two balconies, and 840 on the second. Kimori, the top star of Japan's all-women Takarazuka theater, is retiring. Thousands of her women fans have come to say goodbye. In 1994, the BBC produced a documentary that showed a rare insight into the intense training Takarazuka girls must undergo to become stars like Hana Ogi. Out of thousands of hopefuls only 40 to 50 will make the cut. Of those, only a select handful will achieve fame and stardom. Thousands of hopefuls from all over Japan apply to get in each year, but only 40 girls are accepted. It's not all glitz and glamour. Students are taught cleanliness, household chores and other mundane tasks. This is meant to instill discipline and responsibility in their everyday lives. Supreme virtues in Japanese culture. もう<笑> Not surprisingly, in Japan's male-dominated society the biggest fans are women. Mostly single young women and housewives. <笑>心がね、なんか、<笑> In James Michener's fictional portrayal, Major Gruber proves he's every bit the man. But that was fiction. Convention and a century-old tradition were broken. In everyday life, 
romance comes to life on the Taka Razka stage in a spectacle of song and dance, as it has for nearly a century. <laughs>